Okay, we have here a MTH Realtrax remote control switch. I just want to show you how to connect a Realtrax switch to an SC2 so you're able to control this remotely from the Cab 1 or the Legacy remote. It's important to note that the that the MTH switch has a similar jumper between the track voltage, center rail track voltage out and the auxiliary in pin on the uh, terminals here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove that, uh, that jumper and the reason we want to do that is because in a command control environment we could be running as much as 18 volts on the track or we could be running conventionally through the remote and increasing and decreasing the track voltage. So what we want to do is we want to run our switch at a constant voltage of about 14 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our three wire connector and we're going to remove the wire that goes to the ground terminal on the switch itself. We're going to move it over one to the auxiliary in. What this is going to do for us is red is one direction of the machine, green is the other direction of the machine, and black has now become our auxiliary power for our switch machine. So taking these terminals back here, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and wire it up into the switch 3 position since we have these wired already. We're going to peel the black wire out so that we can connect power to it. And we're going to put the black or the red and the green wire in the switch 3 through and out position. Now we have one more position open here, which is our common position. We need to have a wire there, so I'm just going to take and rub this wire for a moment. Okay, and what we've done is I've got red on the through position to the switch, me switch machine itself, green on the out position to the switch machine itself, I've taken this gray wire to my common. This common needs to go to AC ground. Now if your transformers are in phase again, you can connect this to the AC ground on your accessory transformer. You then take the AC hot, or the fixed voltage, 14 volts on your accessory transformer, and we're going to connect it to the black wire, which we have coming into the auxiliary power in on the switch machine. Turn on our track power. We say switch three out and then the straight button, straight, out and straight. Now the reason our lantern has not come on is because we took the ground off of the, uh, off of the uh, switch power. However, when you have your railroad wired up and you have ground going through your transformer and they're phased, your lantern will come on. So the power connections that we have here, we have auxiliary power, 14 volts, coming in, AC hot. We have the straight and out connections from our switch, going to the straight and out connections on our SC2. We have the common or the ground for the switch machine coming into the common terminal on the SC2. And then our ground is provided by track power through our transformers, which are connected in phase with our accessory transformer. This is how a uh, real track switch is connected to an SC2. But now I'd like to show you how to wire up a uh, MTH real tracks, or I'm sorry, scale tracks uh, switch machine to an SC2. Uh, really very similar to the uh, real tracks, but we'll go through it anyway. What I've got on my switch machine is plus, straight, and curve. So the plus I'm going to run to my constant voltage power supply of 14 volts. That would be the red wire. And the black and green, I've got black connected to straight and green connected to curve. So I'm going to take those and put those into the switch 3 position. I can put them in any one I want, but switch 3 is easier to get to. So the curve, I'll put in the diverging route slot.
straight into the straight slot. I need to rob a wire out of the switch one position, which I'll take the gray wire here for simplicity. Okay, so what I have is I've got the gray wire going to common on the switch three port. Move those here underneath. Gray going to the common, which is going to go to the black terminal on my accessory transformer. I've got straight and through going to straight and through on the switch machine. I'm going to take the 14 volt AC hot fixed supply from my accessory transformer. Uh, red terminal and connect it to plus on the switch machine. Apply power. Hit switch three, straight, and out. I don't know if you can see that moving back and forth. Keep an eye here on the front. I'm able to control that switch machine through my SC2. Let's connect the uh, Atlas O twin coil switch machine. This particular machine is the uh, under the table mount that they sell separately. It's the same mechanism that's in their uh, standard switches with their O gauge. Uh, there's a 21st century track uh, switches. The way that this works is you've got uh, power to the center terminal and ground to the two outside terminals which dictate the direction the switch throws. So. What we're going to do is peel these wires back here a bit, give us some room to work with. We're going to take the two uh, different routes, the black and the green wire is connected there. Take uh, black and put it into our switch 3 diverging route terminal, maybe. We're going to take the green wire and put it to our straight route terminal. The red and the gray wire, the gray is going to the common terminal on switch three. We're going to connect that to our accessory voltage again. The gray wire to the black terminal or ground from our accessory transformer and the red terminal to the red wire or the center terminal on the Atlas O switch machine. Apply power. Using switch three, the uh, aux two key. Throws a switch one way, aux one. Throws a switch the other way. Because we're using a constant voltage, a fixed constant voltage of uh, 14 volts, Switch throws smooth and reliably each and every time. Again, we're not worried about what the track voltage is. This is a separate standalone unit that's being controlled by the SC2. The last switch we want to show you, or switch machine we want to show you in conjunction with the SC2, would be the DZ1000 from Z Stuff. Uh, these switch motors are typically available on Gargraves and Ross Custom Switches. Uh, this is the preferred uh, machine for those two vendors. Very simple, we've got three terminals on the front, left, right, and AC in the center. AC being the uh, hot, which would come from our 14 volt fixed power supply or accessory transformer. The connections are very similar as before. We're going to take the yellow wire, which is in the left position, put it into the straight route. Terminal on our SC2 for switch three. The green wire, which is in the right position. We're going to put it in the diverging route slot on our SC2. The red wire, as we just mentioned, is going to be connected to the AC hot on our AC transformer, accessory transformer. And the ground uh, is going to be connected to the common terminal on switch 3. Apply our track voltage. Press switch three, aux two, 
and aux one. Switch machine throws, aux two again, aux one again. Now, you'll notice that the lights on the DZ1000 don't stay on once the switch reaches its position. That's because the SC2 is only a momentary contact relay inside. So it throws and then power is taken off. In order to have these lights stay on all the time, you want to use something like an ASC, an accessory switch controller, and program it to stay on all the time. And we'll show you that when we cover the, SC, or the ASC wiring in the next video. The SC2, again, can be programmed to control four switches, two accessories, six switches, or 12 accessories. Great for twin coil and uh, even fast track switch, switch machines with a can motor in it, twin coil being the best, uh, the motor's uh, second best. ASCs, a little bit better for uh, slow motion motors. Uh, DZ1000s, where you want the, uh, the light configuration to tell you which position the switch is in, etc. But the SC2s, uh, ideal for use with TMCC1 and Legacy and for controlling a wide variety of switches.